Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new unboxing video. So today we're going to be looking at boxes for Mother's Day. Now there's quite a few coming out now, I think Glossy Box has got one coming for, that's going to be a limited edition box, there's uh, the one from Look Fantastic which I have posted about on my community tab and yes, Next have jumped on the bandwagon and they have released a Mother's Day box. Now I have actually picked this one up, it was £18 and yes I did buy it for myself. I'm not a mum, I have a cat, I'm not sure if that counts, uh, but uh, it was a really great box and it's filled with so many great brands and so many lovely products that I know and I love that I just had to have it. So uh, yeah, let's take a look inside and see what you could pick up. So here we have this year's Mother's Day box from Next. Now Next started doing beauty boxes a little while ago now and I have just been so impressed with what's been inside them. I have seen a few repeat products but actually generally speaking they're really good value. Okay now this box may look small but there is a lot in here so it just says beauty on the sticker and it is absolutely ram packed with so many goodies. Uh, I can't wait to show you what I've got. Okay, so the first product is from L'Occitane uh, en Provence and this is the Fleur Dissa uh, Cherry Blossom Fragrance Shower Gel. Perfect little travel size and a special little treat. It's a really nice fresh spring fragrance and great for travelling. Okay, so next we have a product from Balance Me. So this is the Wonder Eye Cream. So definitely a mum staple. Uh, great for around the eyes to address dark circles and firm the skin and reduce puffiness. So yeah, another great product. We next have my favourite go-to mascara and that's definitely an affordable mascara as well. This is the Bad Girl Bang. It is a mini, it's three grams, but one of these lasts probably about a month, two months maybe, if you're lucky, depending on how many layers you do. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good lengthening, volumizing mascara and I absolutely love it. Okay, so next we have a hero product for me and it is the Elemis uh, Cleansing Balm. Now this is the rose scent from the Pro Collagen range and it is beautiful. If you've ever looked for something that has a gorgeous aromatic and also removes makeup and beautifully cleanses, hydrates and nourishes the skin, then look no further. This is one of my Desert Island products and I absolutely love it. Um, it's a real staple for me. I think I've got about five of these now um, in the mini size because they're great for traveling. You can also refill these as well. So if you do have a bigger pot of this, you know, you can just, you know, put it in a smaller one. Um, yeah, and it's a really great uh, cleansing balm. So uh, yeah, really happy to have another one of those. So we also in the box have a product from Nooks, another really affordable brand, but at the same time, really great results from this brand. Uh, so this is a multi-correcting gel cream. So great if you have any redness or irritation to the skin, you can use this morning and night on the face and neck and decollete. Okay, so this seems to be popping up quite a lot at the moment and it's by Origins. Now this is the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Smoothing Treatment Lotion. Um, so from my understanding it's a bit like a toner but it's meant to be amazing like I'm really excited to try this I've still not got round to trying another one of these that I have in fact I've now got two of these three of these um, but yeah I really want to give it a go but I've just not had the chance to do it yet so yeah really looking forward to seeing what that one is like but I do love Origins as a brand. Okay there's so much in this box. We next have the Body Blur by Vitra Liberate and this is in the colour Latte so it's a nice kind of like medium to soft tint perfect for putting on top of fake tan and blurring out the skin. A beautiful beautiful product if you've not tried the Body Blur by Vitra Liberata, highly recommend it. Okay, so this is a really good size product and it is gorgeous. I don't actually have one of these at the moment, but I do now and I love this scent. This is by Rituals, which is a gorgeous another spa brand. Uh, and this is the Rituals of Secura Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom Foaming Shower Gel. I tried this before and it's gorgeous. It's got a really lovely spring-like scent um, and it's just really nice to use. It's very, very spa-like and yeah, really happy that's in the box. 
Okay, so we have another really good size product in the box and that is from Dr. Botanicals. Now this is the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. Now this is the limited edition packaging. I do have two of these in the limited edition packaging that I've not quite got through. I've opened one and I've got one to use. Um, but yeah, uh, this is really lovely. If you're looking for a nice face oil, uh, really like this. So this is a Dr. Botanicals, it's vegan friendly. And it's a limited edition oil infused with vitamins and essential oils and botanical extracts for a brighter, more even skin tone. And it says here it contains high levels of vitamin A, C and E to help rejuvenate the skin, even skin tone and reduce visible signs of aging. It's got almond oil in it to deeply moisturise and nourish the skin and vitamin E to prevent skin damage. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely product. I really like it. It's a beautiful bottle as well. It's kind of got that really nice luxury kind of like um, apothecary feel uh, to it, which is absolutely gorgeous. And again, it's a really good size. Okay, I actually have this and it's another rose scented product. So if your mum likes rose, this is going to be a good box. Or if you're a big fan of rose scented products, this is as again, a good box. Uh, and this is the Terry Rose Lip Balm. Uh, I have one of these open at the moment and it is the diddiest, most beautiful lip balm ever. I mean, it's so tiny, gorgeous scent and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. So again, rose scented, but it's really nourishing and hydrating on the lips. I've had really dry lips over the past couple of weeks and I've just been finding and really enjoying using lip balms and yeah this is one I definitely reach for so yeah really happy to have another one because it's a lovely product and it does feel really luxurious when you put it on so uh, yeah another fab little fave for me. Now am I the only person in the world that has still not got round to using the Pixie Glow Tonic? Um, I do have one in the cupboard that I've not used yet and I think I've got another one coming this month. Now this is 5% glycolic acid and is a great toner so you once you've cleansed your skin you can go in and use this and it's meant to make your skin look more glowy, more dewy, more healthy, or, um, resurface the skin. It's meant to be a beautiful, beautiful product. I know so many people love it. Um, yeah, it says gently exfoliates, brightens, revealing a healthy glow for all skin types. It's alcohol free, dermatologically tested and you can use it morning and night. Uh, yeah, so I really want to get around to trying this. Let me know. I know they also do a couple of different versions of this now, but this is the original one and I know so many people love it. So really excited for that. And finally, oh my goodness, uh, we have a bubble sheet mask. So I know that my mum has sent me pictures of her wearing bubble face masks and they have just made me giggle so much. Um, yeah, bubble face masks are so much fun, aren't they? So this is the one by OK and it exfoliates and cleanses. It's made in Korea. OK is one of my favourite brands of face masks because they are so good. Uh, and yeah, I've not tried a bubble one from them. So this will be really, really fun. I must say I'm going to keep all these products for myself because they are fabulous. Um, so yeah, really happy to try that. And yeah, I love a good face mask so you know that's going to be a nice evening of self-indulgence. Okay so here we have everything that is in the Mother's Day collection from Next and wow. Um, so in here you've got about 13, 12 to 13 products and I think that works out to be about £1.20, £1.30 an item. Uh, insane, absolutely insane. There is so much good value in this box. Now granted they're not full size products but I mean you don't need them to be full size. There is so much in here to play with, to try, to explore. Uh, it's a real box of treats is what I'm going to say and that's exactly what you want from a beauty box. So yeah, I think anyone who gets this is going to feel spoiled rotten. I love it. There's so many things for me to dip in and out of, to try, to explore, to play with. They're just little treats and I really love that about the box. So yeah, I'm really impressed with what they had to bring to the table for Mother's Day. I think it's a nice box and I'm really excited to see what everybody else is doing. I just thought I'd also mention that there was inside the bag when the box arrived a little sample of the new Terry's foundation. So this launched a uh, what, two, three weeks ago? And yeah, there's actually my shade in there. So I'm gonna be doing a review on how it 
wears and stuff like that because it's a hyaluronic SPF foundation so really great for summer and those of us that have really dry dehydrated skin so keep an eye out for that one so guys that's everything from me I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in the box uh, let me know in the comments below what Mother's Day boxes you're most excited about picking up or if you're not giving them for Mother's Day what boxes are you getting yourself this month it's all about self-love guys anyway that's everything from me I hope you've had an amazing day um, and yeah just have fun and enjoy yourselves and I will see you all very soon take care guys bye